Oh, John! Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel on a blustery old day here in Lincolnshire. I'm back with the Smart 451 Night Orange. Why? Because, well, remember this? Oh, I thought that was a bit wobbly. Oh, dear. Mine's the same. Oh, right, so that's how they are, is it? Um, I should think it's Brock. No, oh, I don't think so, you know. Yeah, this one's the same. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, I think it's Brock. If you're asking my humble opinion, that's just a flipping pin that fits through that all the way through. And of course, Dad was absolutely right. The tailgate hinges were broken and corroded when we put the car back together. Um, I didn't realise that. I genuinely thought that it was all in one. That was how it was meant to be. It was on these little pivots. Anyway, I managed to find somebody on the internet selling a brand new kit. Um, and in the kit, which is now on the floor, uh, you get the hinges themselves and the, um, the pins that go through that tailgate. 20 quid for the kit. And uh, well, in this video, we're gonna replace it and hopefully fix the issue with the tailgate. Hello, good morning. How? It's never ending here at the Smart Car Workshop. We're back with the Night Orange, which is in the uh, workshop today. And you can see just at the back there, there's also an Audi A4. Um, we've got some Audi A4 content coming. Um, how are you? Um, I find, can't find words in the English language to describe how ecstatic I am. You don't want to do this job, do you? No. Um, so when we were putting the car back together, as we've just seen in the clip in the introduction, you said, ah, that's broken, the... Uh, the pins mm. and I've gone nah it's meant to be like that look and as always you were right I've been on eBay and I've bought a kit which I've given to you we're going to just make sure that it's the right thing while you're doing that I'm going to have me a cup of coffee um, so I bought this kit off eBay 20 odd quid it came from a chap who's clearly bought it to do it on his smart car has probably sold his smart car and now hasn't done it um, let's have a look at the parts so we've got couple of pins. And bits of metal. Bits of metal there and Got a there. nail bit on. And uh, the hinges themselves. What are the part numbers? What's the part numbers for the uh, hinges? 999 uh, God Helpers. <laughs> it's A451743005. One, that's the hinge. You need two of them. And it's A000991. 6415 if you want to do this job yourself. Take Why are you not off. looking forward to doing this? Because I imagine that them bits of metal are going to be stuck in that plastic. Right, okay. Let's just show everybody what the problem is anyway. Get, get, let's get the tailgate open and we'll have a look. I'll use the smart car coffee shelf. Where is the button? Where's the button? Yeah. It's here. Uh. Ta -da! You'll see the issue I had this week when I was out and about, it's sort of come off there and there. So it, these are the brackets, aren't they? The pins go through yes, and they go through this plastic, which is the tailgate. Um, which bit are you not looking forward to? Getting the pins out of the whole plastic. Yeah. Is it going to be forcing it through with something or pulling it through? I don't know what it is or? yet. We'll see when we get there. Soon. I've also got an issue with a rattle here, but we'll mm. tackle that at a, a later date. Let's take it to bits. So I've, I had a thought that it would be a case of just take these two nuts off these bolts and sort of flip it up, but you're suggesting it's probably going to be better to take the whole tailgate off. We're damaging something, aren't we? Yeah, fair enough. It is relatively easy to take the tailgate off. There's a few screws, which you'll see in a moment, and uh, then the cargo carrier comes off, and then the front cover comes off, and then the whole thing sort of just pops off. So out comes these torque screws. There's one two, three, four. That then lifts this part out, and then you take the others out, and it, the top cover, which is your tailgate, slides off. You've got to take off your number plate lights as well, and your um, internal electrics. Thankfully, we've numbered all that, so it should be relatively easy. To remove a number plate light on a Smart 451, you push it to the right, and it pops off. It's on this little hinged metal bracket. So like I said, it is going to be easier to do this job by removing the number plate lights because you can undo the cables 
and then the cable will fit back through and you can take this tailgate off. Don't forget though, when you put it all back together to put these back through like we did last time. So you need to remove your boot lock actuator cable before you take it all off. We've removed all the screws that are in the back and the rear skin panel just pops off. Don't forget though, it unhooks at the bottom here. So you have to lift it down and off. And to do it, make sure your tailgate is up. I've put that somewhere safe so we don't tread on it. Next port of call then is to remove all these switches and connectors. Dad has handily numbered them, well, marked them. So when we take it off and put it back together again, we don't get confused. You can use a pick it's just a lever, it's or a lever to get it out of there. Out it comes. It's handy, it's got them little white marks to put you where some of them go. And when you finish taking all them clips out, you need to remove it from this little notch here, which, uh, which goes into the rear of the car. That is the whole reason that we've had to take all that off to remove that. So now that wiring loom hangs free and it's not connected to the tailgate, we can take the tailgate off. It's now two nuts and uh, two Torx bolts that hold the side straps in. This bit probably needs two people to hold this and this in place so you don't drop it. There's two nuts that uh, hold the tailgate into place on the hinge. What size are those? 15 mate. 15 mil. Which you can see here and here. Loosen them off. And that is all that holds the actual end of that tailgate into the tridian cell. So now they're cracked off and this is cracked off. We can undo these hinge, what would you class them as? Retaining straps. straps, pop that through there and undo these nuts. And in theory, the whole thing just lifts away. So now you can see the problem. You can see that this has just sort of corroded out of here. I genuinely thought that this uh, just sort of hinged onto this pivot point here. But as dad has quite rightly said, no, it's broken. You need a new one. So we want to make sure we get this the right way up. You can see there's a sort of angled groove here next to the old one. You can see that it's the right thing. It's just a case of <laughs> getting that pin in the right place, but make sure you get uh, it the right way up. So that must be a metal sleeve inside there. Can you see? Yep. I can't see this coming out of there, but I really can't. I really cannot see that coming out of there. So there you can see just how rotten it is. Dad has genuine concerns. That's probably melted its way into that metal sleeve in there. This could be problematical. There's the old bracket that we've taken off. And you're just giving it a bit of a rock with some pliers. Is it, is it moving? Is it L? <laughs> There's no bloody chance that's gonna come out of there, is there? All I'm gonna do is just twist it off. We're going, this is going to be absolutely mind-blowingly horrible. I understand why the chap that bought the parts to do it on his car probably didn't do it. I know you're not liking the prospect of this. What's your train of thought at the moment? There's a metal sleeve stuck in that tailgate. We've got to get this metal pin out of that metal sleeve. I'm guessing that's it. Can you hold that please? Just stop it from rocking. So it is stuck. It will not tap out. We're going to try and drill it. Ah, what's that you've got there? It's a thing. It's a drill with a, like a drill bit attachment on there. Clever. Ready? Yeah. Right, go on, off you go. I'll try and get back in line. 
going off centre. The dummy D40 is to cool it down? Yeah, I don't know it's the best stuff in the world, but cutting oil's the stuff we want, really. Right, so we've tried to drill it out and tap it out with a punch. It's stuck solid, isn't it? It's not, it's not coming out at all. Let's have another go. Uh, we've bruised the end off and actually we've broken that end off. What's your next plan of attack? A few more minutes of this and then we're going to just drill it out and put some Allen screws in and tap it and put some Allen screws tap in. Tap it out. Yeah. Okay. Really? Yep. Oh, stop, 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 stop. My socket slipped. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, now we've got to find out what we can do to tap it. So you've drilled, what, about three centimetres in there? No, nah, it's not that much, is it? Let's so I want to just explain to you the plan. <laughs> we've tried to get those pins out. If you can imagine, inside this plastic tailgate is a metal tube. Inside the tube is those metal pins. And when you've got metal against metal and you can see what has happened, it's just stuck. Both ends have sheared off. We've tried to knock them out with punches, as you've seen. It's not happening. So the new plan and the universal fix that it seems to be accepted on the smart car forums is to drill the pin in about two or three centimetres, tap it out, and then put some Allen bolts in in the new hinge. What we're going to have to do, there's no way we're getting those pins out. I suppose I could order a new tailgate. They're 150 quid from Smart. For the sake of a couple of hours of shouting and swearing and struggling, it's worth doing. The issue we've got, however, as Dad has found, is getting your drill in there to drill it straight is quite difficult. Having to use this extension. You still can't get it in square. And you still can't get it in square. More drilling. Oh, thought that'd broken your bit then. No, and that's what I don't want to happen. So we're being very careful and very patient whilst tapping this out, because the last thing I want to do is break that tap off in there. We've got the airline running to blow the swarf out. Slow and steady wins the race. If we ugga dugger that in there and it snaps, well, we're going to be shafted if, it's, if it snaps. It's new tailgate time, so patience is a virtue here. Right, so I've been to Screw Fix locally. I've bought uh, some drill bits that we needed, some uh, Allen key bolts, um, and some WD-40 as well, just to top Dad back up. What have you been doing since I've been to Screw Fix? I've got the pilot holes drilled ready. Let's have a look. So you've drilled these out now, you've tapped these out, mm, and right. that is ready to rumble with them. It is. Good news. Yeah, Was it difficult? You know it is, son. I told you it would be. <laughs> So here's the drill bits I've bought, uh, oh, no, just to replace no. yours. Bought this, yep. I bought two packs because they were £1.70 a pack. So I thought, well, good to have in stock. Top bananas. And some M5 20mm uh, bolts. Yep. Looking good, son, looking good. So we're getting there. Right, so in goes these yeah, bolts. Yeah, just see what they're like first. So if we're doing each one individually, because they stick out at the ends on the original things, don't they? Yes. But that looks a bit shite, doesn't it? <laughs> Bloody camera out my face, mate. I'm walking. Well, so they stick out like the bolts in Frankenstein's monster's neck. I'm guessing the plan... Is to lop a bit off, mate. Is to cut a bit off. I reckon that's a jolly good idea, Gromit. In theory, the simplest job has turned into the worst on I this car. I it wouldn't be easy. So that looks a bit better, just show us that, aha! That looks better, doesn't that it? That looks much better than uh, the bolts sticking out. How much did you have to take off there? Four mil. Four mil, there we go. So actually, it's a 16 mil bolt now. 
<laughs> like I say, I can always take a bit more off, can't I? So that was a reference to the fact that I've bought 20 mil bolts over 16 mil bolts, because as, you know, as Dad quite rightly says, you could always take some more off, but not add any on. But uh, a 16 would have sufficed. So actually that looks a lot neater now and Dad's Loctited that one into place. What's your rationale for Loctiting it in? Well, it's not really tight, is it? So, but it is, it's just bottomed out. So, you don't want it coming undone, do you? It stops it from coming undone? Yeah, because the bolt's not really tight, it's just bottomed out in the hole. So you don't want it to come undone. Right, that's one side done. Are you happy with the results? Could have been a lot worse, mate. Couldn't it, it could, couldn't it? Um, let's take a look at the finished product there then. So you've got these bolts in here. This is obviously nice and loose. They've been Loctited in. Tapped out okay? Yeah, as long as it's careful. Yeah. So, now to the other side. Oh, John. Now let's talk about that then. So you, you saw that a drill bit broke off in there. Um, that was brittle, mate. It was, wasn't it? Drill bits are notoriously bloody difficult to get out when you break them in. Um, how did we do that? A bit of... We're fucking lucky, that's what it was. A bit of luck. Um, there it is, there's the I brand... I wasn't pressing on, I mean. Brand new drill bits that we bought from Screwfix. They can go back, because they are no good. Designed for the job, and actually the cheapo drill bits that we were using were much better. Um, a bit of luck, we managed to just turn the end with uh, one of these, um, which is a, like a part of a drill bit set, uh, not a drill bit set, a Torx set, and then get a pair of electrical pliers in there and twist it out. That was lucky, wasn't it? So now we've drilled that side out, time to tap this side out. So that's got that all tapped out and nice. We've got these bolts in the holes, they're bottoming out nicely in there. So uh, just measure them up, cut them if necessary, get the new bracket fitted. Genuinely, that could have gone a lot worse with that. Uh, that bit. snapped. Oh mate, it drill might have been in there forever. What would you have had to do if that was if that was in there? Just drill the drill bit out, or no? You can't drill it out. So that would have been game over. Yeah. Fine. You can't drill it out, mate. <laughs> lucky, lucky boys. After a bit of drama there, thankfully, job done. Um, those have been Loctited into position. They're all in there. It looks better than uh, than the pins that were sticking out. They're all rusty, and actually, this is now not going to twist and break my tailgate. Um, I'm gonna obviously clean all this off just to make it look better. Uh, but you can see here, this is where all the road stuff gets thrown up. And that's why that just sort of corrodes. It just gets salt and stuff all over it. And looking at this smart handbook, it does say every 5,000 miles, you must um, lubricate your hinges there. And clearly that hasn't been done. Next port of call then, clean it off, have a cup of tea, which mum's got ready and um, get it back together. Right, let's put this back on the car, mate. So he's spinning around. You have the on end. Oh, I've got this end. Oh, thank you, there's a bolt. Nut. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good. Stick the bloody hand under there. In theory, it's not going anywhere. Now it should just hold. I've not done it too tight. It's still finger tight, but... Trying to put the bolts back where they were. Yeah, there's some markings on the chassis. Might be a load of cobblers because we've got new bolts on, but new, new hinges. Yeah. That's tight, that's tight, they're all tight. That should now close. On goes the uh, clips and the adapters for the boot actuator, oh. number plate wiring, and all sorts of clever things that's in there. That's the number plate, isn't it? Yeah. Cup of tea time, but we've plugged all that in and made sure it all works with the key, and it pops everything and makes sure that the glass sits right, um, and it seems to be doing so. 
We'll have a cup of tea then. Woman too, tea, tea break. Well deserved. Tea break. And uh, then we'll get the back skin on. And that is done. Um, job done. I'll just show you what it looks like currently. So we have to lift the glass. There's all the bits. Take that open. And there is the new replaced hinges. Uh, much better than the old ones. As you can see, it needs a good old clean, but that's not my priority right now. My priority is if I lean on it, uh, are these going to fall off like it was doing? And the answer is obviously no. Um, it's not going to. Right, tea break over. Can we put this back together now? <laughs> We've got lots to crack on with. We've got this Audi A4 to sort. Uh, spoiler alert for anyone interested, we did end up taking the, uh, the trim off the bottom of this door. We're going to end up replacing the trim. Uh, but enough about that. Don't look at that. Let's look at this, which is the um, night orange. Let's get this back together. Right, so time to put the back on. Um, I'll go get that, and then we can feed the number plate wiring through. You're putting a um, cable tie somewhere. I forgot cable tie back on there. Yeah. Got a clip. I've got the piece of Lego that fits on the back. Shout out to the team at Lister's Mercedes in Boston, by the way, who have given me some new new number plates to go on. Um, we haven't done that yet, though, so uh, that's another job to do. Ready. That's got to go on as well, hasn't it? Yes, which is the boot lid uh, switch actuator. Let's just take them long ends off, else people will shout at us. Oh yeah, on the cable tie. Sorry, here you go. Look, here's the trimmers. Look. People will say you are oh, rough. Bloody rough asses. Bloody rough asses. There you are. There they go. So that's in. That's in its clip. That's in its clip. That's fastened up, I don't want to take it off again. That's in there, let's pull them through, pull them through, and then we hook, hook underneath, hook underneath, and in, and in. Now she's in. Once them two are in, it's on. Then to put the other three in, which go in the back there. And the last port of call will be to put the number plate lights in. One, two, that's all in. That's tight, that's tight. Keys are in my pocket. Ah, that's causing me a problem there. And there, put that in there. And actually, that closed much better than it did. Number plate lights. Well, without saying, I told you so, I told you so. <laughs> you did tell me so. In go the number plate lights. There's no right and wrong way for these. One, two, push the wire in there. Make sure it's nice and safe. Push that in there. Pop, that one goes in. I told you so. Push the wire in there again. Make sure it's not trapped like it currently is. In there. In. I'm going to just test all the boot lid functions now and the boot make sure it opens and closes. I've got the keys in my pocket. I've got number plate lights. I'm just going to check. Oh, I've got two number plate lights. So I'm just going to check that all the functions now work on the boot lid, including the keys. So key release. Good releases the glass. Make sure the glass sits nice and flush and closes. That closed nicely, good. Let's do the handle. Released the glass, good. Now let's do this side boot release. There it goes, and that sits nicely. And then hinges, I can now, I could almost, no, <laughs> sit on it. These are nice and tight, that's in there. That's looking good. That was more difficult than we thought. No. I that was more difficult than I thought. That's better. Uh, that was as difficult as you thought. Mm. Good. The moral of the story is you don't have to buy a new kit. No, we'll talk about that. Let's take a look at them hinges then. Now we've done the replacement. Oh, you've got tools in the back here, don't forget that. Good. Ta-da! Hinge, hinge. Good stuff. 
Well, you were right. That was an absolute nightmare of a job. <laughs> yep. What was the worst part about that? That blinking screw fix drill bit breaking off. Told you not to bit an herb ale one, didn't you? So no, we got, we got, I've got Bosch. We bought I've quality and it's as brittle as I don't know what. These are the old hinges and actually you can see that they were no, no good because this is the old pins. So we did need new hinges, but we actually didn't need the new pins, did we? Yeah, but we could have salvaged them, couldn't we? We could have salvaged these, yeah. Am I going to throw them away? Yeah. They're no good, are they, really? Well, you can mount your telescope on that, look. Can use it. Well, we can use this. We can re we can, I'm going to put this with oh. the load of metal stuff. That's all going in the bin soon. We've taken off the smart cars recently. Um, yeah. I initially filmed this outro. Well, there you have it then. 20 minutes and thankfully no major issues. And the tailgate is now repaired and those hinges are like new again and ready to go. And not to spoil the magic of how the, the show is produced. <laughs> um, I'm glad we're not using an alternative that. ending. There's an alternative ending, which is... <laughs> that was horrible, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, I knew it would be. <laughs> Uh, it's taken us quite some time, actually. Half nine we started, and it's now half two. I had to nip off to screw fix in, in the meantime. But that was not a nice job. I understand why... Well, the bloke had that kit for sale. I understand why his dad says, better do an alternative ending. <laughs> if you've enjoyed the video, thumbs up, please. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do. Um, it helps us what we do. There's loads more smart car stuff coming and Audi A4 stuff coming and we've got a Nissan Micra to get out of the shed this yeah, week. Excellent. Um, comment down below, what do you reckon? Anything different you'd have done there or is that a solution that you would have Yeah, because we didn't think well? of that, we read and No, no, no. Somebody my, else suggested My that, idea yeah. was to whack it out with a great big hammer and pin. That's a Bosch screw fix super duper drill bit and it's crap. Anyway. Yeah, brittle as anything. I'm going to be taking them back. Have a great day, whatever you're getting up to. Thanks for watching. And now the sun's come out. Yeah. Goodbye. If you've enjoyed this video, I've selected a few more specially for you on this page. Click either side to select them now. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button to always stay up to date with the channel.